Welcome back YouTube, this is Baboon Banana, and uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at my top 4 tricks and tips on how to do better within Fortnite. Uh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of videos probably out there on this one, and uh, this is this is not like proven fact on how to increase your game. It'll make you win every time. I definitely don't win every time, but uh, uh, this is just my my thoughts and opinions on how to do better and how to consistently place place above last place in Fortnite. Um, coming in at coming in at number one, uh, my number one strategy is uh, know your route. Uh, land relatively within the same location every single time. If you can't get to that same location, um, then get land somewhere close, same city, same area, etc. Uh, if you're playing solos or solo squads, I generally like to stick to like buildings, uh, tight corridors, uh, because my, my gameplay is generally shoddy, as like a lot of people's gameplay is in this game, um, or, or a good game style, I guess that is. But uh, number one strategy and tips and tricks is when you land try to land like on a gun now i know a lot of you are probably like saying why not land on a chest why not land here why not land there um and like i said before these are not these are not proven facts but uh what i can say about landing on a gun is that one no matter what the gun is and aside from sniper rifles and, and bull guns and all those sorts of one shots um no matter what the gun is you're instantly at a better advantage than whoever landed after you um whoever landed after you if, if that makes any sense so if you land top top trump tower and then like two more people land top trump tower like half a second after you and you pick up a white tack up there you're much better off at eliminating or killing those enemies than they would ever be at in in terms of getting you um I, I'm, I'm not even kidding like if you see a white handgun on the ground pick it up like pick up whatever gun you land on first run around guaranteed 99% of the time you will find someone without a gun uh, looking around for something better than a white handgun or a white tack or a uh, green shoddy and and you will eliminate that opponent with with relative ease to be honest um, I can't tell you how many times I've run through buildings and there's just people running around with pickaxes because of uh, snobbiness or whatever they want whatever you want to call it just just people being picky on what's on the ground um, now if if my recommendation is or my recommendation obviously is to get a gun of some sort um, preferably a shotgun would be my first choice some sort of close range submachine gun would be my second choice uh, assault rifle would be my third and then going down the line I would say everything else is after that uh, coming in at number two tip number two here is shield um, I, I'm assuming this is just a given fact that shield is good in Fortnite, um, but not everybody maybe understands how much how good it is shield essentially uh, doubles your life or can potentially double your life within Fortnite, uh, and always almost always gives you some sort of competitive advantage over any other player who may or may not have a shield uh, shield is common there is it comes in multiple forms in this game you when you first land um, my, my favorite type of shield is like the little mini potions or the little mini the minis is what I call them and then uh, after that I would do two minis and a, and a big pot uh, to get a hundred percent shield however if you can't find minis or big pots or whatever else whatever else is laying around then just honestly just grab whatever shield is most easily available to you when you land um, honestly it's all over the place there's minis there's big pots there's chug jugs there's uh, there's slurp jerps there's mushrooms there's like all sorts of ways of getting shield and um, if you don't have a shield then you're then instantly you're at a disadvantage from somebody who doesn't have a shield um, my, going back to my first tip really quickly if you have a shitty gun and a shield and you're fighting someone who has a good gun and no shield chances are you will probably do relatively okay if not better than that person in that gunfight just because you have more health um, health is a pretty common a pretty common thing within in games or first person shooters or third person shooters these days and uh, anything that gives you a health advantage is is a good is a good way to go or a good a good route to go so shield is definitely number two coming in at third place here is uh, probably different than a lot of youtubers out there but it's a uh, Setting up your guns appropriately. Um, I know that's kind of weird to say, but if you don't know how to set up guns uh, on console, it's just you hit up on the D-pad and you can hit A and select and move them all around. But setting up your guns within this game is so fucking crucial. Um, like, 
it, people may not understand what what I even mean by this, but generally, if you see on the bottom bottom right, you pick up guns and it fills in the first spot that you have available and etc. and so forth. So if you have pick up an AR, it goes in the first slot. If you pick up a sniper, it goes in the second. You pick up a sub, it goes in the third, moving down the line. But that also works in the reverse. If you pick up a sniper first, then you're gonna be have a sniper as your first first primary. Um, and that can be really fucking crucial when uh, when this game is so quickly paced at certain times and really relies on you knowing where all of your weapons are positioned uh, all the freaking time. So generally, I do some sort of assault rifle in my first slot, uh, almost always a, uh, a shotgun in my second, and whatever I like to pair with my shotgun in the third slot, that's generally some sort of submachine gun, uh, some sort of some sort of handgun whatever whatever I have at the time here um, some sort of thing that I can combine with a shotgun to make it uh, to make it more competitive a shoddy sub is my definitely my favorite combination it seems to have the fastest uh, kill kill to bullet ratio or whatever you want to call it when, when you first start out here on the game um, so setting up a shoddy making a good secondary choice like a sub silent sub um, Sometimes even another shoddy, there is a lag or a delay now on double shoddies, as you can see on screen. Um, but it, it's still not a bad option to even sometimes have two shotguns um, in, in certain situations. Um, so setting up your guns is uh, definitely, definitely, definitely good. Um, after the sub, I generally have some sort of potion or grenade that's interchangeable for me. Um, and then last but not least, or potion, grenade, or um, some sort of, some sort of uh, thing, extra bonus thing that this game has. And then last but not least, I almost always have a, a sniper or a rocket launcher is uh, is uh, my next my next choice on that. Uh, finally, the very last thing that is like crucial when you land in this game is freaking get materials. Materials save lives. They I, I almost was tempted to put this in as number two uh, instead of shield, but I figured that. Um, if you're not a very good player, or you don't know how to build very well, then shield's probably more commonly going to be a better option for you than material. But material will save your life um, so many times. More, I, I hate to say, I hate to put it in fourth place, but um, like I said, uh, there's different ways of playing this game. If you're a builder, then build and get materials. But uh, I thought it would be a good, a good way to end here. So uh, obviously building is a very crucial part of Fortnite. Uh, you can see here that my, my favorite thing to pick up in terms of building is going to be the wood. Uh, generally these wood crates are pretty freaking good. They get you a lot of mats or a lot of wood or a lot of materials relatively quickly um, for not a whole lot of time spent out in the open. Um, when I first leave buildings, I, I like to have anywhere between 100 and 300 wood or brick or metal, whatever I can get my hands on. <clears throat> and that's after I've already done, uh, most commonly done steps uh, one through four, like get a gun, get shield, uh, set up my weapons, and then get mats. Um, so the reason why I say mats are definitely important in this game is because when you start having some of these fucking crazy, insane gunfights where people are 40 stories high and flying around the map and uh, trying to get above you, height, height in this game is like really, really good. Um, if you can get above your opponent, generally you'll do well or oftentimes even win the gunfight. Uh, being high, or <laughs> being high, but uh, being high or above your opponent is, is a very good strategy. Um, on top of that, mats or material here can, um, they give you options. And what I mean by that is like, uh, you can use them to defend, you can use them to block in somebody, you can use them to maneuver, you can use them to block a line of sight, uh, get above somebody and then lock them in. Um, th th to be honest, there's so many freaking options you can do with having enough materials in this game. And um, not having enough materials, I, I guarantee you, you will start to suffer and your, and your game will uh, substantially be less or worse than somebody who, who understands that materials are a good, um, a good option in this game. Um, one other thing you can do with materials here, as you'll see, is uh, you can use it to get off high places relatively quickly without taking any damage. Um, if you if you know how to build or you know how to the general idea of building within Fortnite, then you can drop off buildings and uh, place yourself a flat, and uh, it, it allows you to approach enemies or engage enemies that may not expect you to be there that quickly. 
Uh, until you next time, guys, this has been the one, the only, Baboon Banana 69 I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Uh, if you disagree with my, my suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button for more. Take care. See you guys next time.